I'm going to show you how to pair a Bluetooth device from the Raspberry Pi. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, check to see if a Bluetooth service is running. So you can, if you type service Bluetooth status, it will tell you uh, the status is running down here if it is running. And just press Q to, to come out of that. Uh, and then, but um, if it wasn't running, then what you type is you type service Bluetooth start like that, and it will just start the service. Uh, and then uh, going to a utility called Bluetooth CTL, and it gives you a little prompt there. And it tells you here that it's automatically connected to um, a Bluetooth device within the Raspberry Pi. Uh, if you use a, a dongle on the Raspberry Pi, which doesn't have a built-in Bluetooth device, it should automatically see it and, and display it there when you come in. Um, so the first command you issue within here is uh, power on, just to make sure that the, the Bluetooth device is powered up. Uh, and then you issue a command called agent on, and then it, uh, it registers uh, an agent with the uh, with the Bluetooth device. Uh, and then if you type the command scan on, it starts scanning for other Bluetooth devices within the area. Uh, and if you wait here for a, little, a few seconds, it should come up with uh, Bluetooth devices it finds. Uh, and I'm looking for an OBD2 device. So here, here it's found my OBD2 device, which is, which is connected to a car ECU I've got. And what's important is, is, is this number here. So this is the ID of the device. And you can pair with the device just by typing pair and then put the device number. And it attempts to pair, then it should prompt you for a pin code. Now pin codes tend to be 0000, 000 or 1234 for Bluetooth devices. This one's 1234, so into that. And then it'll tell you pairing successful. Um, sometimes it doesn't prompt for a pin code or it, it tells you the pairing isn't successful. But if what you do in that case is you type agent off, then power off, and then power on, and then agent on, and try pa pairing again, and I find that resolves it, and it actually prompts me for the pin code then, or, or it success successfully pairs. Um, but just to make sure that you've you're, you've actually paired, you can type um, a command paired devices, and it should show you here that it has actually paired with the, the, the device I want to actually use. Now, that's as far as you need to go with the Bluetooth CTL Command. So you can come out of that, uh, and but before I can actually use the Bluetooth device, I actually need to associate it with a, a device in the Raspberry Pi uh, operating system. So what to do that? I type this command rfcom uh, bind and then zero because I'm using it as device zero of the rfcom, and then put this put in the ID number, the same one that you were using in the Bluetooth CTL for the device. Uh, and that, that's succeeded because uh, it didn't come back with anything. But if I, if I look at, um, it should have appeared in the dev directory under rfcom0. So it's, it exists there. I can now go into my software and try, try using it within my software. So when you start the Pi OBD software, uh, it will tell you it's failed to initialize and be able to connect to the device because we haven't told it what device we're using at the minute. So click on the config button, which is the cog, uh, and on the serial port, uh, click on the uh, icon next to the serial port, and it should come up with the, de the device RFCOM0. So if you select that, and that sets the uh, serial port, and the click on the cog to then uh, accept those changes. And now, uh, just under the power button, there's a connect button. So you can cl click on connect button, that should then start using uh, that serial device and, and communicate with that serial device. So now it should be communicating with my Bluetooth uh, dongle on my ECU. Uh, and when it's finished connecting, uh, it'll come up with the Elm information. So this is information coming back from my Elm device. So it's talking to my Elm device using the Bluetooth. And now if I just double check and make sure it's communicating, my Elm device is now communicating with my car's ECU. If I click on the trouble codes option, uh, and it, it comes back with the data for the trouble codes. So it's communicating okay now. Uh, and now that I've set which device I'm using in, in this software, I can come out of the software, and whenever I come back into the software, it should automatically pick up that, that device. So just a, a, a reminder that actually the rfcom command you need to run um, before you start the software. So the now that the Bluetooth device is paired, every time you reboot the or start, start up the Raspberry Pi, it'll automatically search for that Bluetooth device and pair with it automatically. You don't have to go through the Bluetooth control stuff anymore. 
but the RF com stuff you do have to associate a serial port with the OBD software with the with the um a serial port with the paired device using the RF com command just the single command on the command line you could probably put it in the, in the startup script uh and then uh you can start with the OBD software and it should use that serial device automatically then